Hello friends, welcome to CSOP Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to import the data from an Excel file in a SV.NET Core. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio and here we creating a new SV.NET Core web application. Here I choose a template uh, is SV.NET Core web applications and here we writing a name. So import Excel, then click on OK. Now it's creating a project, and after this, here I'm choosing a model view controller. Then click on OK. Now this is creating a project for a import Excel. Now project is created. So First of all, I am going here uh, in a controller where uh, we creating a uh, one method for uh, importing a uh, data from Excel file. So I open a uh, home controller dot cs that uh, by default I created here. So first of all, uh, we need to add a new get for importing a data from an excel file so i am going for is is a package manager console and writing here uh, this nuget command for installing a ep plus nuget um, by which we export a data import a data from an excel file now Mm, this install all the related package for this uh, EP plus taking little bit time to installing now this uh, successfully completed so now here I am going uh, to this uh, home controller.cs and we here we writing a method for uh, import data from uh, Excel file. Writing a public async. Yeah, we taking this async because it taking little bit time. So here I am using async await. It's a list. Here, uh, for sample, I am taking this uh, Excel file where uh, we import all these four columns into the uh, list format and then after that uh, you can insert that list in your SQL server or any other database that you want. So I am creating this uh, model for this. So I go to this model folder and here I am adding uh, one more class. Or countries. Here we are creating a properties for uh, this uh, Excel columns. Public string. It's like a country ID. And then it's a country name it's a country name and then it's a two car country code and then it's a three car country code now we return back to this uh, home controller and here uh, here we call that uh, classes it's a uh, countries then writing a method name here we 
import data from iPhone file I phone file need to adding a namespace for this so using microsoft spnet code .http. then you are writing this uh, object name then taking this uh, where list is equal to new list countries now we using a using block it's a using where stream is equal to new memory stream we need to add a namespace for this is a system dot io and then writing error event this file dot uh, copy tracing from my stream we copy this uh, file to this uh, memory stream using where package is equal to new excel package we need to add a namespace for this excel package now here we take this stream as a parameter then it's a excel worksheet then worksheet is equal to uh, package dot workbook dot worksheet then here we providing a positions is taking from a zero position then where row count is equal to worksheet dot dimensions dot rows and then this is a for loop now it's row uh, we start from a position 2 because uh, first row is a header and then it's a row count is less than or equal to row count and then this uh, row plus plus then we adding this list dot uh, add new countries here we adding a model properties here then is uh, country id country id we take up from a uh, first cell it's a uh, worksheet dot cells is a uh, row number two and then here uh, we're taking a column it's on a first position dot value or uh, dot to string dot trim for you know, extract spaces and then it's the country name country name is on a second position let me change this and then it's a two care country code two care country code on a third position and this 
on a fourth position sip 3 care country code and then uh, we return this list now we are going to uh, index view where uh, we creating a view uh, by which we calling uh, this method so i am opening this uh, index that is by default created uh, with the mbc code template here i am removing this uh, by default created as demo here i am writing a html for this subclass uh, container here uh, we are taking one form that uh, method as a post then it's a sp controller controller is a home type and then sp action here we writing action name and then here we taking input input type as a file and here we also take ANC type it's a multi-part uh, form data then we take uh, one button Let's type as a submit and here import from excel so uh, this method post uh, the excel file to this method this is a sample application so here i am not implementing any validations so if you use this for any business applications you can uh, validate before inserting into the database so here the, all these uh, excel file is converted into list later you can insert this list uh, in your sql server or any other database that you are using so now uh, we run this application so now uh, we run this application i am adding here a breakpoint for uh, viewing that uh, uh, data is converted into the list format for this country's model so now we debug this application now it's uh, building this uh, import excel web applications Now build it succeed now this by default calling a home index method uh, where we created a view for importing a excel file uh, for sample i am importing this uh, excel file for uh, for converting into the list format so i am uploaded uh, this excel file this is the 10 countries list that uh, we converted into list uh, i am clicking on this import from excel this all this uh, excel data is converted into uh, list format this contain uh, 10 items so you can watch it here it's a uh, 10th country mm, from this uh, 10th position so after this uh, you can save this list in your uh, database as you like like uh, entity frameworks link you or use any other database that you like so this is all the process for how to import data from excel file in sv.net core 
so if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and for getting a latest updates please click on notification bell also so thanks thanks for watching uh, we will meet in next video session